Hi there, this is Shauna from The Foil Fox, and I'm so glad you're joining me here on the Paper Tray Ink and Ink to Paper YouTube channel. It is my pleasure to introduce a brand new stamp set from the brand new release. It's called Anywhere Together. It's a tandem bike, a bicycle built for two, and it has all the, the pieces to make um, to personalize it any way that you would like to. There's three sets of wheels here. I want you to um, be really careful about that. There's a small, medium, and large. I actually marked mine small, medium, large on the stamp and on this acetate sheet that it sits on so that I can be really clear which one I'm using. And then here is the matching die set that cuts out the bike and a few other things. And then another brand new frame is called Border Blings Heart um, skinny heart frames and we'll be using that you can see here I'm going to cut out these frames I'm going to just cut out the outside one in berry sorbet and one in white cardstock and I'm going to also have a white cardstock panel an A2 that I will use but um, you don't see it here then I have a piece of Bristol paper for for these two pieces I'm using Bristol paper because I want them to uh, I find that I have better um, ink blending. I've cut out the bike and I've cut out the other two pieces and I'm taking some a tape runner. This is repositionable and I'm sticking it into um, my stamp positioner. I'm doing this because this is the easiest way I could find that um, it's to get all these pieces lined up. I find it much better if you cut this one instead of stamp it first because it helps you with your positioning. So I very carefully laid out the frame of the bike and over the die cut and made sure it was in the right position. And I'm stamping it with Hawaiian Shores. I'm going to stamp it again just to get a really good impression. We know that's the one of the big advantages of using a stamp positioner. And now I'm going to use the largest set of um, wheels here and if you notice there's little breaks in these uh, wheels uh, on the back end has three little breaks and the front has one those are for the framing you want that's going to help you know what is the front and back to the wheels so make sure you line those up with the framing that you just stamped so i lined that up really 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 carefully these wheels you want to make sure it's just underneath that um, fender so it turns out right stamping it with true black and um, now I have that outside wheel now the me medium wheels here are used if you want to have a colored sidewall I'm not going to have a colored sidewall I've decided I want it to be white so I'm going to skip right to the small and I'm going to line that up again remember I have been lining up the brakes to the three brakes in the back and one it's a break in the tires what I mean is there's a little there's little openings for that frame to show through and I've I this this one of all of them is the most critical that second wheel so line it up very carefully and I stamped it with true black ink of course and now I'm taking the spokes and the gears stamp lining up that super carefully this is one of these stamps that if you do all the prep work and you're very careful and you're lining up and you take your time you'll have a superb product so there I stamped it with true black ink again so now I've got all my spokes and I line up with all the cuts in it I'm going to take the seat and the handlebar stamp I'm going to put that in position again I am taking my time with this bicycle and I'm using um, honey nut for the seats and I'll use black for the handlebars and I will stamp them twice just to make sure I get a really really good impression so I'm stamping that again you know it's great to use a small cubes like this because I can get into small spaces so easily really enjoy those and these are all paper tray inks as you probably know so there it is there is our wonderful bicycle it's looking great so now I'm going to do the same thing. I'll put some tape runner, put this little, the little frame with the cutouts. That really helps keep them right in perfect position so they, they don't slip around. And I'm putting those in. And one of them is that little suitcase and the other are the heart balloons. So I'm going to take the suitcase and I'm going to stamp that with um, berry sorbet. And then I'm going to use multiple colors for the... Um, 
balloons and I have those perfectly matched up to the to the dice just exactly like I did with the bicycle. I'm inking the one um, heart balloon and the suitcase with berry sorbet. You can see I spritzed it a little bit with water so it would blend a little bit. Now I'm using hibiscus burst for um, the second balloon. And for the third balloon, after I stamp this again, I'm going to use Autumn Rose for my third color. But first I want to, to stamp that second one. And I am able to really kind of get in there. I do have a, a baby wipe in my hand that I can wipe off little areas if I need to. But um, mostly I can get in there undisturbed because of these little ink cubes allow me to do that. So I'm going to just stamp some of these areas just a little bit better just so that I make sure that I have a really nice solid um, impression of my balloons. And I kind of go back and forth and you know I like to do some ink blending so I do that as well um, especially just slightly toning down the autumn rose with a little bit of hibiscus burst on top. Now I took the string stamp, lined that up, used true black and stamp the, st the strings. So I'm done with that. Now remember, way back when we cut out all the dies, I cut out the that heart from white and from berry sorbet, the heart frame. And now I'm taking some, I, my foam tape is a little wider than I need. And so this is the slickest way to do it. Just put it on a trimmer like this and um, line it up and, and it cuts like a dream but I'm going to add some foam tape to the back this is going to do two things this is going to add um, a sticky part where the openings where the heart are and it's also going to pop it up so um, we're kind of killing two birds with one stone here and I'm just going to put that all the way around so now I have those little hearts that are all sticky and re remember I cut another frame um, out of berry sorbet. I'm not using the frame, but I'm going to use those little hearts. So I'm going to use that little, this little pickup tool and I'm going to just go around the entire frame and put the hearts back in. That's a little bit fiddly here, but it doesn't take too long to go all the way around putting those in position. And because there is the sticky part of the tape showing through those holes, this is, you don't have to use glue or get glue all over your frame. It's a very, very neat, tidy way to get these little hearts in there. I'm just going to zip my way around these. So um, now that I'm, you didn't need to watch me do every one. So I'm just going to finish up with these last bits. And so all my hearts are in now. And I'm going to go with a card base. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, well, a, a card panel that's a little bit smaller than the card base. And then I have my frame and I have my um, bicycle. And I'm taking that that um, little suitcase and I trimmed it off because I actually want it to be more like a box. So I trimmed off its wheels and I'm going to turn it the other way. But now I'm going to try to position this on my um, white card panel. Um, this card uses a lot of white space, which I like. It gives a very clean look. And I'm taking a sentiment from um, the another new one, which is called the um, Wreath Favor Box Sentiments. And it's all you need. And so that's when I'm going to use that sentiment. And I'm kind of just getting an eyeballing this and positioning it and putting a little mark with a pencil just very, very lightly where it might go. And I've, um, I'm gonna tape this down and I've, I'm gonna mount this onto my um, acrylic block and I'm gonna put the center mark on where it is on my stamp on the acrylic bark, just make a mark there and I'm going to make a mark, I made a mark on my panel so I can center this sentiment and know exactly where it should go. And remember I made marks approximately where it's going to go on the panel. That was the whole point of putting all those pieces up there just to kind of make sure I'm in, it's in the right position. So I stamped that with true black ink. And now that that's done, I'm going to 
to write love on this little box that I created out of that little suitcase. Now I'm writing it out of Dr. P.H. Martin's um, Bleed Proof White ink. You can you may have in your stash a love that will fit perfectly on here that you can stamp and then a white heat emboss or you can use a white gel pen if you don't have the this ink um, or you don't want to letter it on yourself it's a pretty simple one to do because it's only four letters now i'm taking a foam panel and mounting it on the back of my um, card panel adding more tape and I'm going to stick it down. Um, you know, the tape does not like to adhere to foam tape. That tape runner doesn't. But I persevered and got it on there. And now I stuck it onto the card base. I'm going to peel off the um, release paper from this frame. And, you know, with that foam tape on there, it makes it really nice and stout. So easy to use. And now I... I'm taking, I put a lot of little pieces of foam tape on the bicycle because I wanted to make sure that it, if it goes through the mail, it doesn't collapse. So I put it in a lot of areas, um, little tiny pieces so it didn't show through. Stick that in position there. Now I'm going to take this little box. I have foam tape on that. I'm going to put that in place. And remember, this is a kind of a, a, a real clean card with lights, lots of white space so we don't have too many elements. I'm going to add the balloons. The balloons have foam, foam tape on them too. And now I've decided that there were a few more of these hearts left over when I cut out those, um, those little berry sorbet hearts before. So I'm going to use them as if they're kind of spilling out of the box so that love is just spilling out of the box. I think that the sentiment, first of all, I love the Beatles song, uh, Love is All You Need, but also um, it's a very nice sentiment and you could, anyone would just love to get that. It would be delightful for anyone to receive. So I'm going to now take a little bit of glue and I'm just picking it up with my tool, putting a dot of glue and then putting it back down. I already put it in position. And I'm just sticking them around. And I can take this little poker tool and move them around. I have a little bit of time to do that. Let's add another little heart there. Just to, to just have a bunch of hearts. And there we go. It is all done. I just think this is such a sweet card. And the hearts really set it off. And I love the white space. And the bicycle is adorable. You can do it in so many different color schemes. You can really um, let your imagination go wild. And it's it's a fun one to do. It's great for, um, you know, also for couples if they're getting married. Or there's so many, uh, for a birthday. There's so many occasions that you can give this for that is a lot of fun. I'm so glad you were with us today for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And remember, you can pop over to blog.inktopaper.com and check out um, the supply list and a, um, a lot, tons more inspiration. But here's a short list that I used. The Anywhere Together Stamp and Die Set, the Border Blings Skinny Heart Frames, various um, paper tray ink cubes, and then also the Wreath Favor Box Sentiments which um, is uh, a new one also and you will find that over to foilfox.com or ink to paper so you can go either place i know at file fox we have everything that it takes to make this card so you can pop over there as well i want to thank you again for being here and i will see you next time bye